for me, that's that's what it is, uh, an authority, right? Yeah, no, that's and, the attempt, yeah. And even with kids, what I believe is that um, you need to find words, you know. It's your responsibility to find a way to explain to kids. I don't trust that, you know, imposing, uh, you know, your your way to kids without taking time to explain to them when, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. some, sometimes you don't have the, that time. Well, and sometimes... But you can come up later and, uh, you know, have a conversation regarding yeah. that. And sometimes as pad- as adults, as parents, like, we're not perfect. Yes. We are, we lack the re- reasoning for the things we want. We lack the words to say why we want something a certain way. Yes. Like, it... Welcome, uh, dear friends. Welcome to the Feminist Family. Um, it's with pleasure that we come back again. And um, we're so happy that you tuned in today. My name is Pamela. And I'm Corey. We are the Feminist Family. And today we're going to do what? I think uh, we were going to talk about uh, respect, I guess, is kind of the idea. Mm-hmm. Why did we t- uh, pick this topic again? I think there was something you saw on social media. Mm. It comes from, a, um, I believe it was on a Reddit. Okay. And it says, sometimes people use respect to mean treating someone like a person. And sometimes they use respect to mean treating someone like an authority. And sometimes people who are used to being treated like an authority say, if you won't respect me, I won't respect you. And they mean it. If you won't treat me like an authority, I won't treat you like a person. And they think they are being fair, but they aren't. And it's not okay. Yep. I think that's pretty accurate. Seen, like, you see that all over the place. People who actually aren't authority, ima- like demanding that they be treated that way. And then uh, if they're not, then they refuse to treat people like people. Hmm. There's a lot of things here, right? When can we say that um, respect is treating someone like a person? And when can we say that uh, it's treating someone like an authority? Like, let's go with an example to make sure that we we get it the same way. Well, okay. I mean, our, our parents, are they an authority? Do we pay them respect as authority or? Like over us, like as adults or just in general, like kids? Yeah, let, maybe let's start with kids, right? So yeah, kids are supposed to treat their parents like an authority in mm-hmm. some ways because they make the decisions about the household. They make the decisions about uh, what food gets bought, what rules are imposed because uh in order to keep things moving smoothly throughout the household. <clears throat> so, yeah, in some cases, you got to have uh, kids have to accept and respect their parents in an authoritative way. But is it a good thing that we're teaching to kids uh, by, like, how do you maintain respect, well, for that's, example? Well, that's the thing, too. Is, as an authority. Uh, you have to justify your position. You can't just say follow what I say because I'm the parent, you have to say, here's the reasons why what I say is valid and why you should listen to it. And then they can respect, as in treat as an authority, the reasons, the evidence, the thought that you've put into being, you know, giving them these guidelines or rules as, as for life. So how about when uh, we're growing, then that we uh, to say at what moment can we say that there is a shift? Well, uh, kids or teenagers or, or youth, they're going to be, as time goes on, they question their parents' authority more and more, right? And as the parent becomes less and less able to justify their positions, their authority, their rules, then the kid is justified in not following said authority or respecting said authority or rules or what have you. 
if you can't justify your position, then you ought not have it. <laughs> so what you're saying actually is that at a certain moment, it, there will be a shift because as a parent, you don't have that authority. Well, it's not inherent. There's no such there's no such thing as inherent authority, right? Like we have to have authority based on justification, just based on good reasoning. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't just say I'm the parent, therefore you must listen to me no matter what, especially if I'm saying something that's wrong or bad or like, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or abusive or you know, there's so many there's so many things within that that a parent can be wrong. And they shouldn't be believed or followed just because they're saying a thing and they happen to be the parent, mm -hmm. which is unfortunately what we often teach ch kids. We are on the same page on that. And um, that makes me think then um, at what moment w should someone expect that, you know, we, we just talked about the fact that between kids and parent, you know, they're going to be a shift at a certain moment. So... You do the shift with the parents and then you meet someone and that person require you, require from you respect as an authority. And we let's talk about in a family because we are a family, sure. family right? Sure. Let's talk about in a couple, sure. you know, uh, in the family dynamic, right? Can we have an authority in a couple? No, no. You can't. <laughs> the end. That's it. No, you can't. No, you should be on equal footing, right? Like uh, you're in a couple because you respect each other's position, uh, you know, person as a person. And you, you value each other in a specific way. You shouldn't be like saying, well, now, so you have to follow what I say because I'm the man or I'm the boss or I'm the authority in this relationship. This is supposed to be a re relationship between of mutual respect, mm -hmm. not one person ruling over the other. Yeah, I can see that, but uh, it's not like everything is gonna be going into um, like votes, right? In a couple, no. like no. I believe that there is a there can be a certain authority depending on uh, wh who does. Uh, who who master more this thing than the other or yeah but i wouldn't call that authority i would just call it's, that deferring to like whoever has the best, most expertise most expertise. which is yeah, yeah exactly which is that's like, not yeah, yeah i don't see that as authority, authority. per se mm -hmm. i guess in a sense it is like like uh mikhail bakunin uh said when in in the act of making boots i defer to the boot maker <laughs> like I don't I don't know how to make boots so I have fun, you know if there's somebody who knows what they're doing then I go I talk to that person about it but that's not authority again no I, it's 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 like the most intrinsic level of hierarchy and the trouble with that is that people use that as a justification at, to claim authority in a variety of ways Mm -hmm. Like, okay, yeah, you happen to be the expert in something, but that doesn't make you better than me because mm -hmm. I know things you don't, right? Yeah. But can we say that um, it's a, a form of authority if, uh, for example, one of the partner is um, saying, okay, I'm commanding that you do not do this. You, you do not go there. You do not go out tonight because... I decided that. If is that authority or that's uh, an attempted boundaries? authority? That's an attempted authority. It depends on because a boundary is not a demand. It's based on like uh, like you say. I would appreciate if you didn't cross my boundary, right? If you are going out, you cannot put boundaries on another person. No, they're your boundaries that people <laughs> cross when they impose on you. Yes, so that's not boundaries. But is that authority? It's attempting to be authoritarian, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, to, it's an attempt at a authority because you want to control the other person's behavior, which I would say isn't justified, you know, without 
Like you might have some reason for that, but as it stands, that's not a, then you aren't using authority, right? Mm -hmm. If you have a reason and you can explain to them the reason you might not want them to go to a particular place or at a particular time, and they can agree with that and then decide not to go there on their own, then you've just had a discussion between equals. You haven't had, you haven't dictated from an authority. Yeah. <laughs> because like, I always have an, an issue. I know um, it's something I went through and um, and I, I didn't like it at all. Like uh, having a partner who says like, uh, I am the man. And therefore, <clears throat> this is what I decided. I think I'm a kind of like allergic to that. Yeah, well, it's because it's incredibly stupid. I don't find it <laughs> like... Uh, it's it what has, weak people do. They have to demand that you follow what they tell you because they cannot justify what they're saying. Mm. <laughs> That's not respect. That's not respect. That's so, um, love, I have well, a... Yeah? Well, Go what on. do you... Because well, I, I talked a lot here. I'm kind of curious where you stand on the situation with a, a, like authority. Like, Do you really think that one can have an authority over another in a relationship? No. I don't think that uh, anyone should have uh, authority on a, on another person. And, but I also believe in boundaries, right? Uh, in boundaries, but again, uh, everyone is going to set boundaries regarding like their own place, right? Yeah. Not, I cannot come and put boundaries around you and say, okay, this is where you, you cannot go or, you know, I no. can just set boundaries on what can happen. If you do yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Regarding myself, right? But would that be? Yeah, like you can say, if you be engage in a specific behavior, then I have to behave in a specific behavior. Yeah, exactly. You know, like I have to engage in a certain behavior because that's my going to be my reaction to your behavior, mm -hmm. and that's just normal. Like that's mm -hmm. just a con. That's just. I mean, maybe it's not normal to analyze it quite that way. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, like, so, so I, I don't see any problem with like saying like, if you are going to the strip club, I'm going to be a little upset because we haven't discussed this or, or what mm -hmm. have you. Mm -hmm. Like if you're going on a date with another person, that's, <laughs> I mean, that then you have room to be like a reasonable reaction, right? In a relationship. Mm -hmm. But if you're, uh, if you're saying, I don't want you to go out at all. That's true. That's a whole other, yeah, that's a different thing, right? That's yes. A, I think that uh, there is a difference between, like, uh, for me, authority comes with, uh, you know, orders that you, whether you understand them or not, you need to follow them. Right. For me, that's that's what it is, uh, an authority, right? Yeah, right. that's and, the attempt, yeah. And even with kids, what I believe is that... Um, you need to find words, you know. It's your responsibility to find a way to explain to kids. I don't trust that, you know, imposing, uh, you know, your your way to kids without taking time to explain to them when, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. some, sometimes you don't have the, that time. Well, and sometimes... But, you can come up later and, uh, you know, have a conversation regarding yeah. that. And sometimes as pad as adults, as parents, like we're not perfect. Yes. We are, we lack the re reasoning for the things we want. We lack the words to say why we want something a certain way. Yes. Like it's, it's, it's hard sometimes to fulfill, like to live 100% within our value of being like, explaining everything we do mm -hmm. before we do it but that's the goal is to do that the goal is to do that yeah. and if you are not able to do that you come later and explain yeah you right? have to and it's okay to apologize to your kids like that's something that i see in a lot of people like making the mistake of like they'll yell at their kids because mm -hmm. they won't have the reasoning or justification that in the moment yes but then they'll just leave it that way. They won't ever say, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I should have explained to you better. So, It's something that needs to be done, though. Um, I think so. For me, authority is 
now the more I think about it, the authority is something that is for robots, for machines, <laughs> right? Um, you can ask a computer to do this, you know, it's, it's a yes and or it's a no, but you know, yeah. um, you are commanding, right? Yeah. You have the authority, but between human being, I still believe that it's your responsibility to, you know, to, to explain if, if you are not able to tell to your kids, you know, if you are not able yeah. to explain to your partner why it's better that you take these decisions, then maybe you yourself, you are not yet, um, fully equipped with enough arguments even even yourself you don't yet understand what you are asking or the or or you are or you don't want to explain right because at that point if it's in a couple we are between like you know adults well and that's that's you yeah unless there is a no deficiency in understanding like yeah, which is sometimes the case with kids, right? Is that they don't We've always kids, understand everything yes. you're saying. But, but your partner? Your partner, absolutely, is capable. Of, uh, if if you feel like your partner is not capable of understanding your communication with them, then either it's you, you need to work on your communication or you need to reevaluate your situation. Like, because you yourself, you don't know how to explain it. Yeah, that's You right. yourself, you don't yet understand it enough and you don't want to take that time to, you know, because... You are not considering your partner as a, a human being, yeah. not a robot, yeah. right? Yeah. So I salute all men who consider their partner and all women, you know, wo- all genders basically who consider their partner as human being, yeah. you know, uh, who have intelligence, who can listen, who can understand, who can analyze you know, who can agree or can disagree. <laughs> yeah, that's right. To, right? Yeah, because you're going to disagree. <laughs> you're going to disagree. <laughs> it so, happens, right? Yeah. It happens. It's going to happen many times. Yeah. But at least try to find arguments, right? Yep. Think about your, maybe you're not yet ready. What you want, you want it too bad, but you don't know yet how to transmit it to that other person. Yeah. Maybe try sexually. <laughs> yeah, well. Can we try that? What? Is it a form of a corruption? Well, it, it could. It Convincing depend- sexually? It could Is it be, a thing that well, works? It, it could be Love considered everything. manipulation, depending on the situation. Is it a... Is there a place for manipulation in a couple? Interesting question. I don't know. I don't really feel like I'm a person who manipulates, so I don't really feel like I have a good answer to that. I don't know, but we were talking about uh, bringing arguments, yeah. right? Yeah. So I come from communication. That's, you know, there is a form of manipulation, kind of, because you want you want your point, right? Yeah. Yeah, you want your point, but ultimately the goal is to convince your partner that it's the right choice, mm-hmm. not to like use other tact. That's where I think the manipulation is, is like to use other tactics other than like actually convincing them. So then they give you what you want, but that's not because they actually think it's the right thing. It's because you gave them something that they wanted. Which is maybe a bartering thing. Maybe you could call that bartering. <laughs> it's for me. It's still better than um, authority. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. I think so. I prefer that someone try. You know, there are other ways. Like uh, maybe instead of coming with uh, you have to obey, you have to do this because you know, I'm the man, especially. Like, how about you come with a smile, yeah. with flowers? Oh, yeah, there are ideas right. that can, you know. Yep. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I guess I think of manipulation as, like, insincere. Like, if you are, like, genuinely interested in saying, okay, I understand that you don't agree with me on this position, mm-hmm. but I'm buttering you up. Here's some candy. Here's some flowers. Here's some uh, sexual favors. In, in you're saying that and knowing honestly in a, in a sincere way that 
you are convincing them that you're mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. that you're giving them something that they will enjoy in exchange for them giving you your way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I feel like the, that's that's where the manipulation versus like an honest bartering is, right? Because if you're manipulating, well, then you're not doing it. Up. You're not saying, I will do this for you if you do this for me. You're saying, oh, forget about it. Let's just deal with, let's just go do this. And then after you're like, oh, by the way, I really think that you should do this for me. But manipulation, either when manipulating or, uh, you know, um, corrupting sometimes or. Um, There's, there seems to be a in cynicism a couple, involved, in, a, in a couple, though, in a couple, like a. As long as it doesn't undermine the, the fundamental equality between the partners. There's still a, a, there's still a form of respect, right? Because. That means that you don't want to impose, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I find that imposing yourself like uh, on the, the other person it, and you that's know that's the thing too. It's it's not straightforward. It could be a type of imposition because now. But in that way, you're gonna say that at least you know that person who is being manipulated. At least you know they think that they are you know they are using their own brain. They're accepting. <laughs> something and they're gonna be like okay they're gonna accept something from you but, but that's maybe... where the manipulation is that's, yes that's why it's cynical yeah. Because yeah that's why it's not honest yeah it's it's not but it's still because, better than well i don't know is it veto it's still better than i am the man i'm not convinced no I no think... i prefer that you know I mean, honestly i find it like a it's what what do it's, they it's, say it's like a make an effort right Make an effort. Try to convince me. Try to, uh, you know, try to make the idea, go- try to put some Vaseline. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, no, <laughs> you I know, mean, and, and they, what is it? Make an effort. You, you right? catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. That's yeah, the, exactly. That thing. Yeah, like, yeah it, it, it's but, the idea, but, but make an effort. I just, I just find it hard because... There's a cynicism and a dishonesty mm-hmm. if the person doesn't recognize the transactional nature of what's going on. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. If they think that they came up with it on their own, well, then that's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so at least be honest. Like <laughs> that's the idea. I, I, can, I mean, I can be manipulated. But I prefer to know up front that that's what's happening. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I cannot just come up with uh, any idea. I'm not that good into manipulating you. I wish sometimes. <laughs> I wish sometimes. But I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm not a manipulative person. I just. I try to be as honest as possible all the time. So. Hmm. <laughs> So I try. <laughs> for you, what is a, what shows you that I respect you? Oh, it's a variety of things. Like you let me be who I am. You don't try to impose on me. You don't try to have authority over me like that. You also you you uh, what else? You, you give me space when I need space. You uh, I don't know. You tell me essentially in a variety of ways. <laughs> I love you. So, how do you know that I respect you? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't respect me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. How do I know that you respect me? Um, I don't have to fight to be heard. I never feel like a, I'm even hesitating in talking to you. You know about anything. Mm. because there won't be judgment and you you won't going to be using that against me. <laughs> I guess there is a trauma behind. I yeah, don't know. probably. Um, but also, like, you, you listen. You listen and you, you come in my, you know, um, if I'm bringing an idea or, you know, you're going to take all the time to listen to it and you're going to make it grow and you're going to be helping me to, you know, you're even going to be 
believing in it, sometimes more than me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I still respect in that. And yeah. um, you're not going to be um, judging even my mistakes, you know, because no one is perfect, well, right? That, that, it would be pretty <laughs> fucking silly of me to be judging your mistakes considering how many I make and have made in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you respect my, my, my positions on, on stuff. Like yeah. we, we don't always agree. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because sometimes we get into it pretty good when we're talking about things. Yes. We can fight. Ah, I don't know, fight. Not we fight. All argue. We argue, yeah. From yeah, the outside, yeah. it might look like fighting. <laughs> yeah. But we are ne- it's never... An re- uh, it's funny when, the, cause when the girls were here, they always would try to interrupt us. Yeah, they would think that we are... They would think that we were fighting. Fighting, but mostly regarding politics. like Almost always. Yeah, like we're never, we're never f- arguing about our life. Mm-hmm. We discuss things about our life. Yes, exactly. No, we argue when it's about politics. Yeah. A lot. But <laughs> never like uh, when it's regarding us. And uh, mm. yeah, I know that if there is something like uh, if we have to take a decision and we are not yet on the same page, we will come back to it later or maybe. Yeah. You know, yeah and sometimes it, like circumstance speaks for you. Like, you <laughs> like sometimes mm-hmm. sometimes decisions are taken out of your own hands. And you, yeah. don't, you don't even have a choice. Yes, exactly. So um, we had, uh, I, I guess we can do two questions. Sure, yeah. Because I wasn't expecting that we would be have talked all this much. <laughs> so uh, we're going to take three questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you ensure equal decision-making power and respect within... Um, like our feminist family dynamic. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Communication. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like the thing is, like it's hard to pinpoint it because it becomes so. It's so easy on on some level, right? Like so, when when we disagree, we discuss it. Yes, and if it's pretty important, and we still disagree, we we put it on hold. Yeah, until we can discuss it further. Mm-hmm. Sometimes with new information, sometimes with new circumstances. Yeah. I don't know. We. How do you ensure that? I think that's a matter of remembering that you're dealing with an equal partner. Yes, and talking about that. Yeah, and right? making sure that you don't, you don't just go and make major decisions without each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In what ways do you promote mutual respect for each other's authority? Autonomy and choices within our feminist household want mutual respect. How do we promote mutual respect for each other? Do we promote that? I don't I guess I don't through know. discussion like this, right? I guess. I, it still comes down. I think it's the same thing. Like we communicate. We, t- we talk about things. We don't, yeah. yeah, we don't necessarily promote. Like we don't go around being like, Hey, make sure, like, because, but I guess when we're dealing with kids, say, mm-hmm. right, we might have to, and sh- we might have to say, hey, make sure that you're treating Pam with respect or Corey with respect or mm-hmm. whatnot. Mm-hmm. 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 So mm-hmm. I guess in that sense, we promote respect that way. In that way, yes. It's something that we, uh, we were doing, especially with the little, <laughs> yeah. little kids. Yeah. Because, Sometimes they come home with some silly ideas and you go, okay, but <laughs> you got to respect this person. How do you address and challenge traditional gender roles to foster respect and equality in your family? Oof, it's a good question. How do you, what is it again? How do you address and challenge traditional, traditional gender, gender roles? roles? See, that's the trouble. I'm not entirely sure that we do address, like... We don't really challenge them within our household so much. Not really. Not in the I, way I, that we live. We in in yeah. In we, our political views, in the way that we are in the world, yes. Mm-hmm. But in our household, 
I make more money than Pam makes. She tends to make more of the meals and do more of the cleaning. It's not, it's not intentional. No. <laughs> it's, it's just the way things happen to work out. And for me, I don't consider it to be a uh, roles I'm doing because I'm a woman. No, I would it's... love to have a sugar mama. <laughs> I got no re- no problem if you make more money than I do. You what? <laughs> if you were to make more money than I would, yeah. I would have I would love no to make more money. Yeah. I, would, I would love to retire you actually pretty quickly and so that you stop working and you would be just podcasting. I would love that. All the time. I would love that. Yeah, I would love that too. But uh in um let's say in chores or uh like do we have like a gender like a not specifically. Roles in our family. There are, there are, I, I don't know. Yeah, like we don't do things. Whoever just kind of does things because they're the one that happened to think of doing it at the time that it needed to be done. Yeah. <laughs> like, although exactly. I guess in a sense I've gotten in the habit of doing the laundry and you've gotten in the habit of cooking a couple times a week. Yes, but it's not based on the... Uh, no. It's just kind of just... It's not gendered yeah. at all. No. No. Because if it was gendered, I would be doing the laundry. I, you wash, I fold. Yeah. I got the easy job. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't fold all the time. I fold. Yeah. If, Which doesn't matter. It, yeah, can sit in doesn't. The, it can sit in the basket. It doesn't hurt anybody. It's it's not like... Um, I find that in our family, it's we, we don't have those rules that are like a... You know, <laughs> you have to. We don't go like that. We don't de- decide chores based on uh, we have to do that, right? No, I don't think so. I don't. We I don't are think not there's... that. Uh, we don't put that. You know. Um, no, there's no like this is Pam's job and this is Corey's job, and this needs to be done on Sunday, and it's absolutely need to be done. No, no. It's like, do you feel like doing it when it? If it doesn't need to be done right this second, then it's not a big deal. Yes. If no one wants to do it. Which happens a lot for us. <laughs> then no one is doing it. <laughs> no one is doing it. But no one is mad either, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, because the expectation isn't there that you have to do it. Yeah, exactly. So. It's, uh, it's more like a how we feel, basically. And there are things that get, you know, uh, organized like that, right? Yeah. But I'm not expecting from you if one day you are not doing the, the laundry. Which I barely, I don't think I touched them even today. It's not like I'm going <laughs> to be like, hey, <laughs> what were you doing? You slave. <laughs> you laundry person. <laughs> yeah. No, that does. Uh, and frankly, that wouldn't work on our, in our household. No, I don't think that. I think that if, if you were doing something like that, I would be. Triggered? Well, surprised first, and, and then... triggered, and triggered. Like it would come as a, as an, uh, you know, yeah. again, like a, is this an authority again? Because right. like a, we are. Why we are just, you demanding of this? Uh, this of me? Yeah. We are two adults who are fully functional, you know. Um, yeah. It's known of us to responsibility to do absolutely this thing. Yeah. We do how we can and how how it's possible, right? Yeah. Right now, you're the one who earns more, yeah. but it doesn't mean that you absolutely have to be the one who earns more. No. I can definitely live with you. You're much like more a, educated than I am, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, I can, I, can, I can be earning more that it won't be a major question for me. It never had. Even yeah. with my exes, it was like, I, I got into all, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes I was the one earning more. Sometimes I was the one yeah. earning less. And uh, yeah, like our, it's, again, it's kind of like one of those things where like a lot of the things that we fall into in our circumstance, like in our relationship are became a, a matter of circumstances. Mm-hmm. Like we talked about before, like you, when we got together, you were, uh, it was pretty fresh relationship, but you had no choice. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we moved in together mm-hmm. and then you weren't able to work and then COVID hit. <laughs> but even when I was, even when I wasn't working, it's not like I was like, uh, 
okay, you are the one working and that, therefore I'm going to be compensating. No, no. You did what you were able to do. I don't believe do in that, you, you know, no. uh, compensating. Like uh, saying, okay, this one, he's the one earning more, so therefore you're not going to be doing anything in the house. I like to think of it as like, uh, of the, in, in the sense of like the, from each according to their ability to each according to their need. <laughs> it's like, so we kind of live that way. Like mm -hmm. when, you know, when you need something and I can provide it, then that's part of our life. Yes, exactly. And if, if the other, it goes the other way, then that's part of our life. Yes, and I know that I can come to you for basically anything if I need any help, any, you know, yeah. assistance. And I, I feel free to come because I know that you're going to be there for me. Yeah. And, of course, I'm going to be there for you too. And judgment-free. I will judge you sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, I'm sure you will. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I won't bully you. Yeah, there okay? we go. No, yeah, because... Go. Okay, I guess we talked that, about the respect. Yeah, is that all we're doing for today? Yes, we can uh, continue. I have um, more questions regarding uh, the respect in okay. the family. We will do that at another episode when we're gonna be uh, talking about again um, about respect. Maybe you can tell us if you watched until here. Thank you very much. If you learned anything, if you are challenging respect is something that I had to do myself. Yeah. I had to challenge what it means respect in a couple. Yeah. And if you are going through the same, let us know if um, respect means something else uh, to you. Also, let us know. And I guess uh, the only thing left is like the social media. Yes, join us. Um, you can join me on uh, my Instagram, Pamela Kadekare. Okay. And yeah, I got the skeptical leftist or skeptical lefty, pretty much all of the internet, uh, all the social media sites. So. Yes. And if you watched until here, please leave us a like, share if you want to, uh, encourage us to continue talking about. Yeah, like, and or sharing ask questions and too. We're always happy to answer questions or th uh, hear thoughts. Yes, and join the feminist family. See you next time. Mm -hmm.